Here we got a quick video of the Apex 5 from Steel Series, the Illumination. This is what it looks like when it first turns on. It looks nice. Okay, so within the software you get to, you can choose the custom effects. And then of course you've got the whole keyboard presets as well. You've got the speed, the size, even the wave. So you've got radial, horizontal, or vertical, or even reverse. Um, there's no one to do it like this, Whee! which is a shame. And of course you've got the reactive layer as well, which happens when you click on it. So we're going to check all those out, okay? So let's go for the first one. Single color. Red. Well, of course, you can change any color you want. So let's go and change it to blue. Or different type of color blue. Nice, nice, beautiful green if you want green. The one, <laughs> the keyboard behind it is from Razer, if you're wondering. That is, that is the Huntsman. So here we go. Okay. So. Yes, so that's what we call the single color. We have color shift, which as you can see it changes the color. It's horizontal. You go radial if you want to do. As you can see it shifts color. We and the speed of it, just go faster. Let's go super fast. I think about that speed's nice. No matter fact, no, a bit more. There we go, that's nice speed. Look at that. Oh, that's lovely that is. Oh, that's a nice speed. Hmm. That's radial. So that actually does do that, doesn't it? Okay. So that's color shift. I'm not sure what size does, maybe it makes it bigger. Whoa, come. Well, that's, uh, that's nice, isn't it? Less color shown, but. Yeah, there you are. Gradient. These go through all the colors. Da -da 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 -da. And then we got the breathing. We all know what breathing means, it goes. <gasps> Uh, through just one color, which of course currently is blue and black. All right, chasing ghosts. Pretty cool, isn't it? Electric orange. A haze effect. Not much of a difference, is it really? It's nice though. Prism. And of course, with the prism, you can change the wave effect as well from vertical, horizontal, or radial. I'm guessing horizontal is probably the best version of this one. Vapor Dreams. Whoa. Okay, so we'll see if you can speed this one up a bit more. Hmm. Hmm, a bit more. There we go, better. I can actually see it changing. Go down like that. Ding, ding, ding. And of course, you can have horizontal and radial. Um, let's go for warp drive. Boom. We can change the color as well. And final one is called. What's that one called? I have to do it. West Coast. Hmm. It's going real slow at this moment, so speed up a little bit. Boom. 
There we go. Oh, there we go. It looks like a like a little blue effect goes through it and a red effect. Yeah, it slowly changes. Oh, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. And then we have what we call the reactive layer. So if we only press a key, you can see that. Boom. The whole line gets initiated in white. That's called line. Ripple. Again, the whole thing goes right across. And then fade. You can't really see much, can you? Fade's crap. And of course, you can change the color with that as well. You've got the AFK effect, which of course is off normally. Or you can darken by half, lock key color. That's basically it. So I'm going to return it to. Um, Matter of fact, I quite like the warp drive. Did I? No, I did not. One what? Uh, let's go and prism. Prism was kind of fast. I'm going to turn it up. There we go. So that is the illumination on the Steel Seas Apex 5 taken in a dark room. I hope you like it, because I got to admit, it does look nice. Thanks for watching.